Hello, so this evening's home automation win is something which is a very special project I'm working on for the home and I'm going to show you it right now. So what I want to do is put in wall control panels and they are um, custom laser cut brush stainless steel kind of flush mount things that I'm going to put into walls with little displays in there um, showing the current track for the music and a volume control um, it's also going to have a little temperature readout of the current temperature from this DHT22 sensor and as well as that it will have these light wave RF switches which are RF controlled switches I suppose I could cat five them and put them into Fabaro dimmers um, if you know what they are but either way I'm sure it'll be good and it also has humidity as well in case you wondered what that was um, for a given room um, so basically this wall controller is going to have nice little volume control in and a play pause button actually this is a rotary encoder with a button which you can press in I haven't implemented the play pause yet but it's very very easy to do now I've got this working and actually what I plan to do is to hook the rotary encoder up with one of these LED rotary encoder LED rings from Mayhew Labs check them out they're really they're really great they're about 14 quid each which is definitely the most expensive thing in the project given all of these sensors are about well this rotary encoder here is about 12p that's about three pounds even this is about seven pounds and the nano that I'm going to end up using which is this thing here is seven pounds anyway so yeah these rotary encoder LED rings are fantastic um, they're really really stylish and of course um, using MQTT it's going to be possible to get a readout of the current state which can be updated every probably every second or five seconds um, because of course the volume will be able to be altered from other interfaces as well like the iPhone or from the physical box itself or from another room um, so I'll show you it in action what it does is when you turn this rotary encoder um, it sends a message using an MQTT library um, which someone has very kindly written um, through this Ethernet shield which is connected up to the UNO um, to my network which is somewhere over there and um, it turns the volume up and down and does it instantaneously so you can really feel the change in volume um, so I'll just show you that working so this is the um, automation server which is responding to messages um, and actually perhaps I should show you first of all the uh, MQTT messages themselves coming in so when I turn this as you can see the messages are coming in pretty much instantaneously so this is MQTT subscriber running on my laptop which is connecting to a broker running on my server or it could be running on a public server somewhere um, and then that broker is also connected to by a client called OpenHab which is also on my server and that is the thing that is the glue that holds all of the home automation together OpenHab is a really great bit of software it takes quite a while to get into it um, but it works a charm. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, you have kind of bindings and um, site maps and items all defined like this. This is your interface. It's not a particularly nice interface for new users, but hey. Um, anyway, so I will show you my remote desktop connection here. And so this here is the interpretation of the data that's coming in from this little switch. And as you can see, as soon as I turn it, what we're seeing there is we're seeing a volume state updated um, when I turn it um, and the MQTT, I've done a typo there, um, the state is being read and then there's an action that ties that to the bedroom volume which is a uh, binding for a squeeze box server, there's one for um, Sonos as well if you want to use that. Um, so I'll show you it in action. I haven't actually got the play pause hooked up with this yet so I'm going to play it from my web interface through my lovely little speakers there. Uh, so let's play some music. Can you hear that? I hope so. In fact I'm going to just turn it up so you can hear. And as you can see Lovely. And you can see the Ethernet port over here is 
flashing quite a lot when I move. So when I send signals, and it, it doesn't flash otherwise because it's not really doing anything else other than sending these MQTT messages. Good, huh? So that's the first part of the project. The second part is to hook up this wild array of sensors. Come on, focus. Um, in here we've got the DHT11, which is a cheap man's version of the DHT22. Um, we've got some ultrasonic sensors so you can wave your hand in front of, I've got loads of these, wave your hand in front of the control panel and it all lights up very pretty. A um, whole load of lights. All these rotary encoders we're going to use, PIRs are going to go in the ceilings. Um, these are RF um, receivers and, and transmitters, which I probably won't end up using. And uh, these, of course, we're going to be using displays. Actually, I don't really like these 16 by 2 displays. I'm going to get some OLED displays, um, which are far superior, and we'll be able to show the track um, list and the track readout from Squeezebox server via this brilliant MQTT binding and open hub. So that's the plan. Um, wonder what you think of it. Let me know in the comments.